I think uh, building upon that, uh, also, you know, you come from a, a legendary family who want to, you know, building upon the legacy of your family, you know, what is the vision that you create, especially like, you know, for example, want to understand the expectations, like say, for example, when I was, you know, going to engineering school, you know, had expectations from my parents that, you know, are you going to be an engineer or a doctor? Coming from a family, you know, with a lot of legacy, you know, how did you manage your expectations? You know, how did you, you know, come yourself, like, you know, finding those differences? I mean, even if you look at, uh, even in business, when you come from a certain business family, the institution might have certain expectations on you. Similarly, in politics, there are greater expectations. People expect you to behave in a certain manner, respond in a certain manner. But if you look, my, look at my journey uh, in politics, I've always broken the mold. You know, I have chosen the road less traveled. Membership in Telugu Desam party was never a smooth affair. And in 2014, I chose that as my focus area. Similarly, in 2019, when I had to contest election, uh, there's always a debate on which seat I should contest from. Generally, political legacies and people, second generation, third generation politicians choose a safe seat. I chose Mangalgiri. And Mangalgiri is a seat... <laughs> Mangalgiri is a seat that we did not win since 1985. So I said, let's, I should try it out, I should challenge myself and, uh, you know, political legacies are not about safe seats. I think we should choose a road less traveled. I lost in 2019 by 5,300 votes. I never felt bad. I said, I didn't have enough of time to convince the people of Mangalgiri on what location is. So I, I spent five years, I worked on it. I said, I'm going to contest from here. And in this process, a lot of people told me, why not contest from a safe seat also, just in case you lose? And I told them, you know, if I do take an easy route or exit, that's accepting defeat and I'm not going to. So I contested in Mangalgiri uh, in 2024 and I'm really proud to say that I won it with the highest majority that Andhra Pradesh has ever seen, which is 91,000 votes. Wow. Again, after that, when the ministries were being selected and... Uh, when I spoke to Babugar about, you know, what I should do, and he asked me, what do you want, what do you think you want? I said, let me take HRD. You know, human resource development is one of the most toughest ministries, a lot of teacher unions, and I love the challenge. And it's a great opportunity for me to shape next generation leaders, thinkers, engineers, scientists, doctors. So I always believe as leaders, we should take a road less travel and transform in your own way. And that is what I have learned in my political journey. Wow, wow. That was a great insight, uh, Lokesh Garu.